Today's video is kindly sponsored by Simply Safe. Hello, Lone Fox family, and welcome to my full apartment tour. such an exciting video to be filming right now. As many of you know, I have been living in this space for like a year and a half and I'm ready to share it with you guys. I've been working on every single space over the past year and a half, like I said, um, and sharing the makeovers from before and after on the channel. So today I'm putting them all together and you get to see the full space from start to finish. So head on in, we have a lot to go over and a lot to share, which is very, very exciting. So right when you walk into the apartment, there's this little entry area. I have a mirror so you can check yourself before you go and just some cute little decor here and a piece that I created from Ikea. And then actually up the entire wall here or stairwell, I guess, is this really fun gallery wall. I just got a ton of different frames and artwork that I love and just mixed it up just to give a little bit of interest to this space because it is pretty dark in this hallway and so I wanted to add some life and color. And then moving over to this wall over here, there's just a couple of hooks which just allow you to hang a coat or a bag or something. And then we have, of course, today's video sponsor, which is Simply Safe. As many of you guys know, I absolutely love my Simply Safe. It's turned off right now because I am at home, but let's rewind when I installed my Simply Safe. About a year ago, I uploaded my roommate's room makeover, which is the first video that I actually got my Simply Safe in. It has been a full year, you guys, and I have been obsessed with my Simply Safe. If you have never heard of Simply Safe before, it is an incredibly effective and reliable home security system that will give you full on around the clock protection for just 50 cents a day with no contracts, which is absolutely crazy. And the great thing about Simply Safe is it's a totally customizable system, so you can really get sensors to kind of meet your needs. So they have things to cover every single window, room and door, plus a ton of great extras like water sensors, temperature sensors, and HD cameras. And I just gotta say guys, I have not had to touch this home security system and it only took took me an hour to install when I installed this a year ago. I haven't even had to touch one sensor, nothing at all. It is still working top notch and perfectly to this day, which I am obsessed with. And the reason I actually opted to get a home security system in the first place was because I moved into a duplex. Before I was living in a larger apartment complex with, you know, a doorman, it felt a little bit more secure. But now that I live on a main street in a duplex, I just felt like I wanted a little bit more security and Simply Safe has really allowed me to have that. Now, thankfully we have had no break-ins, nothing too crazy has happened yet, but let's just say something happened. You guys don't have to worry because the monitoring center will actually call the police and notify them and alert them of absolutely anything that's happening throughout your home. And I just love my Simply Safe. It's truly kept me protected over this past year and I will be continuing using it for sure. So if you'd like to get your own or find out any more information, use my link. It is simplysafe.com slash lonefox at the top of the description box below and check them out. All right, guys, but let's go upstairs. I want to share with you the rest of the place. Moving into our first space here. This is the living room. So right as you walk up the stairs to the right is what you're looking at now. This is our living room space. This is actually the first space I think I redesigned or no, I did the dining room first, then the living room. And the space is kind of composed up of a large sectional. There's a cute little side chair as well. And a lot of people have always asked me why I didn't orient the sofa, you know, towards the fireplace. And that's just because the fireplace is really tall. So I didn't want to have to put a TV on top of it. So the TV instead is over on on this wall here and this is a Samsung frame TV and then underneath it is an article media console a lot of the furniture throughout this space is actually from article and I also want to mention that if you guys want links to anything check the description box I'm gonna to try to link everything throughout this whole entire apartment so on top of here I have some cute DIY decor I made this little wood planter a while back and then we just have some Ikea pieces some thrifted decor and then moving over here I have a large piece of artwork this is from the Studio McGee collection at Target and then I have a couple of gold frames here. I got these from an estate sale a while back and I also actually picked up this really pretty marble table here that has some turned legs on it. I love the graining on the marble on top and I just have a couple pieces of decor there. And this is my leather poof from CB2. I got this a while back in my downtown apartment and it's just sitting there that probably blew up the audio lovely so then we have of course the main sitting area this is where all the sitting occurs you could sit and watch tv you could sit and look out the window you could look into the dining room there's lots of options the couch here is from article i believe this is the mellow um, sectional in the brown leather and i have just a ton of random pillows on here just from a couple different stores and actually a knitted blanket that i knit on my channel a while back now the coffee table here is from target it was actually a storage trunk that i spray painted black and just popped in the center there it wasn't large enough so I paired a basket next to it just to overall widen like this coffee table situation here and just popped a couple of decor elements on top and called this a day in this area and I 
really love the rug too. I think it adds some color in here. There's a lot of neutral happening, as you guys can see, but a lot of neutral in terms of contrast. I love incorporating a lot of black and white um, in this space, and I also have lots of browns and natural tones too. So this is kind of like the sitting area, and then back here is um, a little fun area. I mean, we don't really go back here very much because there's not much to do other than look at this fireplace that doesn't work. But I just styled some stuff on top of the mantle. I love shooting photos here. It's one of my favorite spots to shoot in just because I think the fireplace is a really nice starting point for any kind of vignette. And then over on the right side is my faux olive tree. And you guys always ask me about this. I got this on Wayfair a long time ago and I'll try to link the exact one if it is still available, but I know they were sold out for quite a while. And then my overarching lamp, this is also from article, you guys. I get asked about this quite often. There there is zero overhead lighting in this living room, which is so strange. This actually provides all of the light, which I love, and it was pretty affordable. And then the last little section in the living room is right over here. I actually created this console here from a Billy bookcase a long time ago from Ikea, and I redid all of the fronts and put some woven cane in them. And this is one of my favorite DIY projects. So I've had this in all of my apartments since I've created it. And that's the living room space, and this kind of transitions into the dining room. And I love the arches throughout this apartment. I think they add a nice nice bit of like architectural interest. When I moved into this space, the dining room had a door here. The door didn't close, so I took it off the hinges. Um, and then this actually was a really big cutout originally used for a china cabinet. And I knew I wasn't gonna put a china cabinet in there and I just wanted to utilize the space a lot better. So I added a couple pieces of melamine. I had these cut at the hardware store and then I installed them with some brackets and then painted the entire thing this um, focal color. This is called Hail Navy by Benjamin Moore. And it's just a really dark navy, which I love. And I think that it really kind of contrasts nicely with a lot of the decor on here. And this just gives me an area that I can style. I like that I have, you know, um, a shelving area where I can restyle this, take photos, like get you guys inspired for projects and film projects here as well. So it's just styled with a bunch of stuff that I like. And then underneath guys right here, this is my prized possession DIY. I love this project. It is another Ikea flip where I cut these kind of abstract shapes out of these doors and then installed this cane as well. We have our table. So the table and chairs is from Article. I get asked this all the time, you guys. I love this table and I absolutely love the chairs. They're super comfortable. So if you're in the market for like a spindle style chair, this one, is really great. And the rug is from Rugs USA, I believe. I just wanted to do something simple in here. And I kind of like the mixture of like masculine and feminine elements. And back over in the corner here, this is actually my grandpa's vintage mirror or what I believe is vintage. I got it from him a long time ago and he had it for quite a while. So I hung it here. I thought it was a perfect spot and I love the wood um, in contrast with the navy. But directly across from the dining room is actually what's known on my channel as the horror movie room. So this right here is known as the horror movie room and originally moving into this space, I called it that because I was actually scared of this room. I didn't understand what it was. It had dark paneling on the walls, but the paneling wasn't the same color. There was like different tones of paneling and it was just, not very cute. I believe this space might have been a screening room that I've been told since you guys have told me, but I ended up actually painting it full on white. This is Chantilly Lace by Benjamin Moore. The whole apartment is actually painted Chantilly Lace. And then I just went through and added like a couple of details. I created this little bench, which was DIY'd from a couple pieces of wood. And I think this cost me like $15 to create. And then I did just a runner in here and some simple styling. This is not really a space that I come in very often, but since it is an attachment of the dining room of course I wanted it to look really cute and then over on this side over here we have some of the lovely original mirrors which we love these they were in the whole apartment and I left just this section here and this is a bar which we never drink ever it looks like we do like it really looks like we do but I swear to you guys it's a once a month occasion and it doesn't happen often but there are options so if you do come over we do have you covered exiting horror movie room we're going to walk our way into the kitchen space there's lots of divider walls in here but I still feel like it's pretty open which I like. 
and this space was one that was recently renovated. So when we moved into this apartment, it had just been fixed up. They put in new cabinetry, but they did everything super, super renter grade and affordably. So I wanted to go through and kind of add some fun details and some fun interest to this space. So over in the corner, this is kind of like the little breakfast nook section. I went through and painted all of the window trim black and I love how you can see the trees through the window. I think it's just such a nice little space. And this round table here is a perfect size. It's from World Market. And this is just two more of those article chairs that are actually out in the dining room. I love them so much. So I transitioned them into here. And then of course we have the refrigerator and this whole focal section here. So this is a lovely peel and stick wallpaper archway that I did. So I knew that this archway was kind of another focal point of the kitchen and I wanted to really make an emphasis with it. So I did this peel and stick wallpaper of lemons just from Amazon, another super affordable renter friendly hack. And then I painted the underside of this black and I feel like that just really finished it off. It made it look like one polished piece and it tied back to the windows as well. I actually added this sconce up here, which doesn't work, but don't tell anybody, but like who's gonna turn the sconce on above the sink? And then we just have all of our cabinets so like all of your essential kitchen things you know are in here we have the KitchenAid mixer toaster oven bread box food and you know things are stored in here like plates and dishes but then when we work our way over here this is the laundry room which I feel like a lot of you guys haven't gotten a look at the laundry room and that's just because it's truly a lost cause like I can't do anything in here because the counters are shorter than the washer and dryer themselves. So I can't make like a countertop. We have this whole water heater over here. There's just a lot going on. So this is kind of the only space I never made over. And then this is actually Marie's bathroom, which you guys saw me do on my channel a while back. This is the first bathroom I made over in this apartment. And in this bathroom before, it had such an ugly like red wood vanity. It was just pure white. It was very bland. So we did this fun printed paint on the top. So I essentially did like a cream paint first. And then I used the side of a magic eraser to actually create this pattern on the top. Um, totally could have done peel and stick wallpaper here, but I thought this kind of makeshift pattern was really fun. And then on the bottom half, I did like a skinny board and batten, which I think added a nice detail. And I also like how it really freshened up the space with the white. And I did these really cute, like extra long shower curtains that I sewed uh, just to like block out the not so cute glass door that showers normally have but yeah that's the bathroom and I guess we can make our way to the hall rooms what we're going to head into Marie's room And you guys, this was such a fun room to make over as well. This was also kind of a room that I did towards the beginning of the whole makeover journey. And the thing I love about this space is it's the first ever room that I painted one solid color. So all four walls are the same exact Portola paint. And this is a lime wash finish paint. And I believe the color is Dolphin. And basically what that does is it gives the paint like a really unique texture on the walls. And on top of the texture, we also did these wall moldings. And I'll link the wall moldings below. They're from Lux Architect and they're peel and stick which is really cool because I could actually remove these when I leave and take them to my next apartment so we did the wall molding and the overall vibe for this room was just like a very moody kind of French I don't even know provincial vibe and that's what we went for and it was really fun so on the bed here this is from Safavia we kept the bedding super dark and everything in this space is moody but the thing about it is is there's so many windows in here and provides so much natural light that it kind of offsets the moodiness which I like and I love the rug in here it's also from Safavia but I like the mixture of navy and kind of like this lighter blue color which then goes back to the color in the bench here because I think those blues kind of match up nicely. Now the dresser, we wanted something authentic French provincial, but they were all so expensive that we went for this Ikea option and put these like carved glass knobs on them, which kind of gives it that aesthetic, but for a much more affordable price point, popped a fun brass kind of filigree mirror on top and just styled it with a couple of accessories. All of the curtains in this space are actually from Ikea, super affordable option as well. And then just a couple of artwork pieces here, again, tying back the blue tones and just something more minimal in the bottom too. And I think just like the white mixed with the gray, mixed with the dark tones, it's just a perfect mixture of contrast. And I just really like this room a lot. Oh, and then also in this room, there's a closet right here. Looks like that if you're curious. <laughs> um, so we'll head over to my bathroom. 
my bathroom you guys is the most recent makeover I have done in this entire apartment I literally did this about a week ago so it's the most current and most fresh and it's probably my favorite makeover in this entire apartment I just love the way that this bathroom turned out I literally find myself coming in here and sitting just sitting on my phone like right here because the vibes are immaculate, truly. I love this dark green. Just everything was brown and white and boring. So I wanted to add some kind of moody contrast. So I did the dark green there and then I added this uh, kind of vintage replica artwork piece and a couple of woven accents. I also think that this little table right here with this pot of eucalyptus is really cute. I think it adds like a nice bit of organic touch to the space and you kind of have this movement that's really fun. And the mirrors in here are probably my favorite. I love this shape. I think it, it's just interesting. I've never seen a mirror with a shape like this. But the thing that I truly am most happy about in this space is the curtains that I sewed. I truly can't believe that I sewed Roman shades. Like, how did I do that? And they fit in the window. I was scared that they weren't gonna fit, but they do and they look great. And the thing I love about this bathroom is there are double vanities, but I literally am the only one using this bathroom. So I'm always using this one. This one's open for anyone who wants to use it, but um, this is my side. We have the bath and the shower actually separate in this space So this is the bath area and just on this ledge I added a couple canisters with q-tips and cotton balls and kind of things in there And then I added a faux plant in the bath area just because there is no shower So it's not gonna get wet or anything I thought I added a cute touch and then again in this space I did the same thing as in Marie's bathroom and I sewed these really long shower curtains I just like the way that these cover the shower as opposed to the original glass. I sewed these I think they're cute and and that's the bathroom. So then we're gonna head out into the Lone Fox room, but on the way to the Lone Fox room, we do have some storage. This is like built-in storage. I'm not gonna go through everything because there's really like not a need to do so, but there are lots of storage options, but you have to open the door all the way like that. Kind of fun. The next room here is the Lone Fox studio room, which this room, honestly, you guys, it is, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot happening, but I know where everything is. It's an organized mess, but it's my organized mess. So I think that's all that, that's all that matters, right? So um, behind the door over here, this is all storage, you guys. Literally, I have stuff ranging from yarn, yarn, yarn. We have spray paint, spray paint. Um, these are literally like rolls of woven material, hardware, strings and cords. This entire top shelf here is all all decor that I've like got from thrift stores or from random places that I want to keep and potentially use in future makeovers. This room is really like my storage room. It has everything I use to take photos, to take videos, prop styling, DIY supplies. Um, I also have my filming table here. So I film a lot of my projects with this lighting setup. And normally there's like a big diffuser and then my camera attaches here. It points down and films my table. So I'll film a lot of my setup here. What it is, it's the leather chair that I painted. I've been using this actually uh, for my my filming chair for the, about the past probably like two months since I painted it and it's been working great a lot of you guys have been asking about this chair as you can see I have a billion paint cans up here just because I'm trying to get rid of some paint I don't need all of that stored in this room so I'm gonna go ahead and donate that and then over on this side of the room I have this storage dresser that I created this is a DIY on my channel as well so if you want to watch that you can totally do so and up on top of this storage dresser and inside of here it's just a bunch of random stuff I have like wood supplies i have this is all camera equipment in here and then on top of the dresser is all wall decor so anything wall art related we have pictures frames lamps um, sconces mirrors just anything that goes on the wall i kind of have stored up here and then down here i have a couple of other random things this is a thrifted piece of art that i found i have a couple of filigree frames and this originally was going to go in my bathroom makeover but it didn't really fit with the vibe so i didn't end up using it but i'm going to keep that for sure and then over here is kind of like my main tool section. I have this board that I created. You could download my Lone Fox app and watch the video on how I designed this entire room if you want to. And then right over here is just my smaller storage. So I have lots of things that are more smaller scale that kind of fit into these drawers. This little system here is from Urban Outfitters. I get asked about that all the time, but that's really this whole entire space. It's where I store a lot of stuff. This is mainly like a storage room. And then I do of course film in here and get inspired in here. And I edit in here sometimes. 
Um, and sometimes I hang out in here, but it's also a lot. So sometimes I don't hang out in here. <laughs> and then if you guys remember me telling you how I took the door off of the dining room wall and then there's a furniture piece in front of it. This is the furniture piece that was in front of it. It's this big, huge Fox cabinet. I got this from Anthropology when they had a sale a while back, but I have nowhere to put it. But this just, I needed this. How did I not purchase this? You know, I had to buy it. And then working our way here, we are going to head into my bedroom. I absolutely love this room mainly because it has so much natural light and I also love this arched window. This arched window is such a fun feature to me. I love how it looks in the space and I made sure to really highlight it with the curtains. So I did a really long rod across the entire top of the ceiling. That way the curtains can kind of hang where they need to. In this space, I really used green as kind of like my color, I guess. So I did a board and batten wall on the back there, which I painted with a color called Conifer Green by Bear and I think it looks really pretty. I love it. And then over the top of the green, I did kind of this dark wood spindle bed, and I believe this is from Wayfair. Now, all the bedding is from CB2. I just did this like simple kind of linen with a stripe on it, but I think my favorite purchase for this room would probably have to be either the rug. This is a vintage Turkish rug. I found this actually at Home Goods, which is crazy, or this dresser here. And this is a authentic vintage provincial dresser that was then redone by a lady on Etsy. I purchased it from her and she painted it black for me. She had these knobs on it. And I just love kind of the detail of this. I think it adds a nice touch to the room. And I like how it's black because traditionally you see a lot of these dressers in white. And something else fun that I did was I actually framed my frame TV. So this is a frame, I'll try to link it below for you guys they're sold by a tv frame company and you just clip it onto your tv and it makes it look like a piece of artwork just some simple styling on top of the dresser there and this is my little seating area so these chairs i love them they have a subtle pattern on them and they're from west elm so i got two of those and i just really like the rounded back on them and then this piece here is actually a bird bath i picked this up at home goods and it was originally like teal blue and i painted it black and then we have another olive tree this olive tree again is from wayfair same one as the one in the living room and i get questions you guys about my nightstands all the time these are just seen a Lee for anthropology and they're not available anymore sadly but I love them they're like a rattan nightstand and I think they're just so interesting and then I did some sconces above the bed um, these are actually not hardwired at all I have some puck lights in there so a super renter friendly hack and just a simple piece of artwork but something kind of fun about my room is there's a little nook over here so this is my office nook as I call it I did a full makeover for this space as well where I originally painted it like dark navy blue and then went back and did like this cream color. I think initially this was supposed to be like additional closet space because there is a clothing rack here, but I ended up turning it into like a little work from home section because I do edit all the time. I'm constantly filming, I'm constantly working of course. So I just like having this space for my computer. I just have like some of my work essentials up here, storage. This one actually has lots of like paperwork in it. This one has my audio equipment for my camera. And that's really my entire apartment, you guys. I cannot believe I just give you guys a full apartment tour. I've been waiting for an apartment tour forever and that finishes off today's video. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, totally give it a thumbs up, you guys. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week and I'll also make sure to link every single makeover in this apartment if you're curious in the description box below. So if you saw a room you liked, it's been filmed and it's on the channel so you can recreate it. But I will catch you guys all in my next one. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.